At last, school's out. Tim, Joe, and Brian head towards the woods through which they usually take a shortcut home. Tim reached it first, followed by the other two. And as usual, they went to swing from their favorite branch on their favorite tree. This time though, for some strange reason, each of them spotted a different branch they had not noticed before. Each decided by themselves to be the first to swing from this new branch. So, as if by some secret signal, all three ran and jumped at the tree. The branch was a little high up, so it took some effort and climbing. They eventually managed to more or less sit on the branch. However, their efforts were soon to be undone. With a thunderous crack, off broke the branch and down fell the boys. They were not hurt, but a strange feeling came over them. Tim was the first to stand up, but he felt a little weak after the fall. As soon as he felt steady, he went to help the others, who were still on the ground. It was then his trouble started. The first thing he realized was that he could not move, so looking down to his feet, thinking they were stuck under a branch, he just did not believe what he saw. Where his legs should have been was now a tree trunk. Tim was by now in total disbelief of these weird happenings and at this stage was not sure who he was or even what he was. Joe and Brian were at this stage wondering where Tim was. Tim called to the others to come and help him, waving his arms madly. But what about his arms? All he could do was rustle a lot of branches over his head. He stood motionless for a time, strangely calm and able to think clearly of what just happened. Here I am, he thought. I've just turned into a tree, and quite a good one at that, he noticed with some pride. Strangely, he began to feel comfortable in his new body, and he took time to examine his new shape. He had all his senses, sight being the strangest, because he could see all around him at the same time. He could see Joe and Brian looking around and calling his name. I'm right here, he shouted to them, not knowing if he could communicate with them anymore. By their reaction, he could see they heard him all right. Stop hiding, Tim. You're scaring us, said the others. I'm not hiding. I'm right here, in front of you. If you are there, then why can't we see you, said Brian. Well, you can't see me as usual, because now I've turned into a tree. You're actually leaning against me now. At this, both boys, startled, jumped back. No need to jump away, said Tim. Look, it's a very calm day. No wind in the trees, all very still. Watch, I'll wave my left arm. See? Now my right. See? Are you convinced now? The two boys were stunned and so shocked they began to believe what was happening. I've got an idea, said Brian. We'll go home to get help. Don't do that, said Joe. Who is going to believe you? What would you think if someone came running up to you shouting, Help! My friend has turned into a tree! But what else can we do? asked Brian. Cast a magic spell and turn him back to normal? Wait, said Tim. It's best if we don't panic. Something must have caused this to happen, so I suggest we put our heads together to try and sort this out. They all agreed. A silence fell over them as they thought hard about what to do next. After some deep thought, all kind of ideas were suggested. The best of them stupid, the rest of them plain idiotic. For example, dig up the tree and take it home. Peel off the bark to see if Tim is inside. No matter how they tried, none of them came up with a sensible idea. But then again, this was a very weird and difficult problem to solve. Suddenly, Joe raised his hand and shouted, I've got it! The branch, of course! Listen, we usually swing from our own branch, but this time we all swung together from this other branch, breaking it with our combined weight. And it's since then all of this started as if we're being punished for damaging the tree. After all, it's the only thing we have to connect us with Tim. Brian came up with the idea of trying to stick the branch back on 
but they couldn't see which tree it came from. Tim pointed out if they went behind him, they would see where it broke from. Sure enough, there it was, a big gash where the branch was. But no matter how they tried, there was no way of getting it back on. Now what? said Brian, sounding more than a little scared. We'll have to sort this out soon, because it's getting late and will be dark soon. For what seemed like a long time, there was an uncomfortable silence. The strain beginning to show, for by now they were all very tired and more than a little scared. Tim broke the silence. If we think of what we did in the woods today, and then try to do it all in reverse, maybe, just maybe, that might bring us back to where we were before all this happened. Yes, I know it sounds weird, but what have we got to lose? We'll try anything at this stage, the others more or less replied together. Right, said Tim. As far as I can remember, all this started to happen after we fell from the tree. So if we put ourselves in the same position we were in just after we fell, obviously I can't. So what you two do is lie on the ground and pull the branch on top of yourselves. Then we will all concentrate on all that happened in reverse order. This they did, and once again a strange silence fell over the boys. For a while it felt as if nothing was happening, when Brian thought he heard voices. He nudged Joe and asked him if he heard them as well. He thought he heard them also. There they are again. Can you hear them? Quiet. I think I can hear what they are saying. Yes. They are calling out our names. And I think they are getting closer. Tim! Brian! Joe! Are you okay? Answer us, please! Where are you? Is what they heard, over and over, getting closer and closer. I think I know those voices. Yes! It's our dad's! I think you're right. How do we explain what happened to Tim? Haven't a clue. But how do you tell a father his son is now a tree? The boys' fathers were close enough now to see they had fallen from the tree. We're for it now. How do we explain the mess? They both thought to themselves. Just as Joe was about to get up, he felt a strong but gentle hand help him to his feet. Are you all right? Are you hurt? Asked his dad. I'm okay, said Joe. I'll get you home and call the doctor to be sure, replied his father. Brian and Joe were wondering why there was no reaction from Tim's dad, but they were too scared to find out why. Joe was asked by his father on the way home what exactly had happened, so he decided this was as good a time as any to tell the truth, so he started. Well, there was this branch. We all swung from it. It broke. Then this tree spoke to us. The others listened in amusement to Joe's story. You must have been dreaming after we fell, interrupted Tim. Joe turned around, startled. What dream? Tim, you're okay! <laughs> <laughs>